With the recent sad departure of Italian style icon Nino Ceruti, we're reviewing two classic Ceruti 1881 fragrances for him and for her. Number one is Ceruti 1881 Pour Femme Out de Toilette. The fragrance launched in 1995 and it is powdery yellow floral fragrance composed around mimosa and iris notes. Quick story behind this fragrance. I was wearing Ceruti 1881 back in the day in the 90s. Uh, I went to the shop to replenish my bottle, asked for a new bottle and they gave me some ugly looking one and it smelled horrible and I said well that's not the fragrance I've been wearing for the last year and a half um, and, and it turns out that I've been wearing this one for the last year and a half, the women's one but I had so many compliments so when I heard that Nino Ceruti had sadly passed away we got another bottle and um, I've been bathing in it basically so Ingrid, let, let's just do that sorry sorry for that guys but I thought a bit of... Would you like a spray? Yeah, yeah yes, let's hit me with it <laughs> really takes me back this fragrance but I must say you know what they say is, you know, you should wear a fragrance maybe for someone else when if you're a young man you want to get compliments. Well, this is it. Ingrid. Fantastic opening. Really mm. nice. Um, juicy. Um, a lot of florals coming through and, and, the, and, and the bergamot note is very, very visible in the mm. opening. I, I must say now I'm smelling it with uh, older eyes or older nostrils. Um, it is very feminine and floral but I still love it. It's like a yellow floral fragrance, slight hint of musk, loads of different flowers going on there, but it's got a nice little bit of muskiness and a bit of wood that I really like. So I do do kind of, I can't easily say this just is even unisex, but <laughs> I really like it and I don't care what anyone else says. Hey guys, we're back after 10. Ingrid, how am I smelling? Oh, you're smelling fantastic, if you mind me saying. Well, it's a really you. pleasant fragrance. A dry down to a pleasant, um, yellow floral uh, with a twist of woods, a bit of musk type of fragrance, a bit of spiciness there. Mm -hmm. You can detect, you know, little spicy notes like such as geranium or coriander. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's really a lovely, um, nicely blended fragrance. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Uh, predominantly mimosa, yellow florals. It's quite bright, cheerful in that way. Then we've got white florals underneath it, which is obviously incredibly feminine. However, and my defence is I do like the powderiness to it, a little bit of geranium and some musk in there. Slight bit of wood, but not loads going not on. Loads, no. But I will say, I've got so many compliments for this in the 90s, um, and I still think it's great to see. So, Ingrid, seasons and occasions of my Ceruti in 8081 Uh Based on this fragrance, I would say it's more spring, summer, early autumn yeah. scent. Maybe more daytime than evening time, although for me personally, it smells more like a special occasion fragrance. Mm -hmm. So although it'd probably be safe to wear to the office and workplace, you know, where would work, but also like evenings out with your friends, mm -hmm. yeah. maybe some birthday parties and that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I used to wear this as a clubbing fragrance, so I feel like <laughs> dancing to like MC Hammer or something now. But as for performance, I can answer this question because I used to wear it loads and I've been wearing it for the last week just to get back into it again. I get a minimum of four hours with decent CRG and projection and after that it is, hovers just above the skin pretty much like for the rest of the evening. And finally the verdict, Ingrid Ceruti 1881 or Femme, what do you think of this Italian vintage classic fragrance? <laughs> My verdict, I like it a lot, mm -hmm. I, I like it because it's unusual, it's a bit different, it's bright, it's elegant, it's kind of female and also a male scent you're, you're very kind. fragrance. It's very feminine. So yes, I, I think it's pretty center Yeah, wear. thank you. Um, I still really like this fragrance. It's, it's modern, it's fresh, it's it's fairly, to, to my nose now it's unisex because we've all moved on a bit from having to have like alpha male fragrances. Um, so for that, yeah, I'd happily wear this in the day because it's nice, bright, fresh. Number two on our list is Ceruti 1881 for Home Out of Toilet. The fragrance launched in 1990 and it is fresh, aromatic, woody scent. We have a sample here for yeah, you to try. Sample. So this is the <laughs> fragrance. So back in about 1996, 97, when I came to restock my poor femme, this was the one I turned my nose up at and I went, <laughs> oh, that's not like the other one. But we'll see how we go. I'm expecting a fresh my God. woodland. <laughs> it is, it is woodland. Oh, I'm not even putting my no. nose down there. It's so, that's, that's mega. It's so strong. Mega. It's really nice. It smells of pine woods. It does. It really does, <laughs> it, doesn't it? Yeah, it yes, really well, it's, it's got cypress notes mm. in it. 
So it's all pine woody type mm -hmm. of fragrance. Really nice, actually. It's got sweetness coming there from the fruits and other other mm. other florals in the mid notes. Mm. Everything is just kind of coming up now. It's it's very pleasant. Mm. It's an assault on the senses. I'll say <laughs> that this is one of these nuclear clubbing fragrances of the uh, early nineties. And actually, over the years, it's held up quite well. That's not bad at all. <laughs> I don't mind that. I still prefer the, the, the fancy ladies one. But what I like about the open, but well, we're going to give it some extra time, is it's, it's, it's clean and fresh, but it's not like um, these days everything seems to have to be an aquatic fragrance. Mm. This is not aquatic, but it's still clean and fresh. So we're back after 10 minutes. Ingrid, what do you think of Ceruti 1881? Oh, home. Very interesting fragrance. It's changed so much from the opening. Mm. It's more warmer, it's, it's more like woody, and it's got this uh, piney, pine woody, cypressy uh, fragrance as well. You know, that, mm. that freshness is still there, but it's not as visible. But it's much warmer and much deeper fragrance. Mm. Very nice. Yes, it's not an ultra freshy now. It's, it's still clean and fresh, but I would say it's, it's more forest fresh. It's more wood in there and pine, cypress, a little bit of like muskiness maybe from patchouli or something going on Lavender down there. Lavender as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, overall, that's settling down very nice and I, and I still think you could get away with it today, um, even though it's an older fragrance. I think one thing I wanted to call this from the open was like barbershop fresh. Yes. But, but now I'm smelling it on the dry down, it, it's not so much because it isn't like um, one of those barbershop fragrances like Aqua de Palma. Um, Colonia, which is gone missing from here. I think I was wearing it the other day, so I haven't got that to show you. Um, where, whereby that's like lemony fresh with some spices and herbs. Um, this is more like pine fresh. So Ingrid, when should us guys be wearing this old classic? I think fragrance is suitable for warmer seasons, so it will be spring, summer, creeping into autumn. Mm -hmm. And I think it's all day round fragrance, really. Um, you can easily wear it in the evening. Casual, yeah, casual evening, evening yeah. Um, meeting up with friends, going out for dinners, you know, that kind of that thing. That kind of thing, thank you. Finally with the verdict, Ingrid, love it, hate it, middle of the road. I do like it, mm -hmm. I actually like it, I think it's very masculine, mm, it it, although it is vintage fragrance and mm -hmm. you can you can tell, but it's very masculine, it's easy going, um, sort of casual fragrance. Mm -hmm. As for my verdict, mm, I'm not a lover of, you know, I, I love the poor femme, I can't help myself, but this one, even at the time, and I, and I stick to my guns, it's just too foresty for me, forest fresh, and it's not the kind of fragrance that I like for that reason. There's too much pine going on, and there's like, it's very pine herb-like, and it's only got a little splash of citrus, so I would have liked to have a little bit more citrus going on, in my humble opinion. So I just wanted to quickly add, the next time you're in store, you'll find this bad boy, at the bottom shelf and you've really got to duck down to find it and it's like 20 quid or dollars um, it's worth just buying a bottle just out of idle curiosity um, I, I think the ladies would enjoy it and guys if you're not too worried about smelling like super ultra alpha male I think it's a good daytime fragrance as well excited about fragrances check out our next fragrance review out there we'll see you soon <laughs>